Hi friends, this is Out of Heart Bill, and I'm going to show you a bit about maintenance on a uh, on a Dexter uh, lock. This house was built in 1951, and this is an original lock, as far as I know. I'm going to show you how to take it apart and clean it. There's only three things that you need. One is a screwdriver, some grease. I use a, I've got a high quality grease that I'm using for other purposes. But you, if you got to buy grease, you can go to the store, Walmart or whatever. Get the smallest container you can find of the cheapest stuff you can get and it'll work just fine. On these fluted glass knobs, there's a set screw on either side, and you just need to loosen one of them. I'm going to go with the one on the inside, and then the knob will simply screw off. Okay, then the rest of the other part will come out. Along with the shaft, you just screw them together to keep them handy, or not, whatever. Then the important part is the actual lock itself. Let me reposition the camera. The actual latch. This is a Dexter. I'm not sure how other makes are. But these seem to be the most common in the area. Take out the screws. There should be two screws. This lock is missing one. And just simply stick a screwdriver. screwdriver okay you see what I did there is went through the hole where the stem goes in and pushed the latch out part way and this is the this is the latch on most modern day latches these are all welded together and you can't do anything with it. But what you might actually see is that these are, are assembled with bayonet type connections and the whole thing comes apart very easily. You know, I got the whole, I've got the whole system apart in my hands. And it's also pretty obvious that whatever grease was in here at one point is dried or gone. And this is actually where you need to lubricate it. Use a paper towel if need be to remove any old grease, but there really isn't any here. I'm using Mobile One synthetic grease, but like I said, this is not what you need to use. You can use the cheapest stuff you can find and it will work just as well. Some parts of this, like the latch plunger, 
should be greased very sparingly because you don't want to make a mess out of your house. But it's this part that is important Grease both sides. And like I said, it won't take a whole lot. And you've got the, the plates. These are what the the stem actually fits into and these pins are what actually moves the latch when the knob is turned if not lubricated these pins will wear out and break and this is what usually happens when they fail to work at all And if you got broken pins, you might be in in a bad way. I was able to find some roll pins that were of a suitable size. And you see what I've got here? Pins going through there. There's corresponding holes in this side of the plate. Put a little grease on this side too. See what happens with this is as the knob is turned it causes this whole piece to to move. Just enough to pull the latch out of the door. Now I can put it back together. Okay, this fits into this. Again, a little extra grease isn't going to hurt anything. Just want to kind of keep it to a minimum. Put the other half of the shell in. You know, this is all back together. Face plate back together. You can see it moves rather smoothly. Put the spring in the back end of it. Twist that cap back on. Use a paper towel to clean the excess grease off your hands. Put the stem in it, and you see, works quite nice and smoothly. Make sure that it operates like this before you put it back together.
Okay, I have the latch plate back in. Put the stem back through the door. Screw the knob back on. Note that the shaft is square. It means there are four places that you can that you can uh, tighten the set screw on. I choose to do it here. Yeah, loosen it up a quarter turn. I don't mean loosen the screw up, I mean loosen the knob up on the shaft. Put it in there. Moves nice and smooth. Loosen up still another quarter turn. If you have it too tight on the door, it's gonna move tightly when you turn the knob. It does help, friends, if you remember where you put the screws at. But for right now, that will work. And that's all there is to it. Still got something in there. But the latch is good. And that's all there is to it. Hope you found this helpful.